Hello my friends and welcome to the outer world. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jessica and I love playing video games, obviously. <laughs> I do post a new Let's Play video every single day, seven days a week. My current daily Let's Play series is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And starting today, my bi-weekly extended Let's Play series will be The Outer Worlds. And if you do end up liking what I do here, I hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button and sticking around for all my future gaming adventures. And now that all my shameless plugs are out of the way, back to the Outer Worlds. Now this is probably the quote newest game I have played on this channel and even then it came out I think over a year ago in 2019. I'm not sure when in 2019. But anyway, a DLC did come out this year so that's something, right? But the reason I was really excited to see this game coming was because Obsidian Entertainment is the developer. And I know them, and you probably know them, as the people behind Fallout New Vegas, which is a game I absolutely adore. And as I'm such a big fan of the Fallout game series, I was very intrigued about the idea of a Fallout in space, which is probably a bad description, but I'm just gonna go with it right now. <laughs> so when getting ready for that game, this game series, I did do a tiny bit of research to try and find the original plot setting for the game just to kind of give myself some sort of background. And I think I found it. And it says that the game is set in an alternative future that diverged in 1901 when US President William McKinley is not assassinated by Leon something or other. I cannot say his last name. At the Pan American Exposition. As a result, Theodore Roosevelt never seceded him and large business trusts were never broken up, leading to a hyper-corporate, class-centric society dominated by the power of mega corporations, which by the distant future have begun to colonize space and terraform alien planets to varying results. Earth residents are encouraged to undertake efforts to colonize these systems. Now, among them is Halcyon, a six-planet star system. Traveling to Halcyon requires both the usage of advanced spacecraft with a specialized skip drive and a 10-year cryosleep for the colonists. And in 2285, two colony ships were dispatched to colonize Halcyon, the Hope and the Groundbreaker. Now, while the Groundbreaker arri successfully arrived in Halcyon, colonizing the planets Terra-1, later renamed Monarch, and Terra-2, the Hope and its cargo mysteriously disappeared in transit, slipping into myth among the citizens of Halcyon. The Groundbreaker is placed in a permanent orbit near Terra-1 with the original crew's descendants, converting it from a colony ship into a small independent citadel. So that's what I have for a setup, which is obviously extremely interesting or I wouldn't want to play it. <laughs> so now before we get started with the game, a few housekeeping items. First things first, this Let's Play will be very much in the vein of all of my previous ones, meaning I will try to do every quest, talk to everyone, explore everywhere, read quest entries, journal entries, any and all sorts of entries, and no doubt, loot excessively. <laughs> I do tend to take my time when playing a game for the first time, so this is definitely not going to be a speedy let's play. So second thing is there are no mods on this playthrough, but I am using a different um, gaming service other than Steam, so I don't think I'm going to get any achievement pop-ups, so just an FYI about that. Third thing, which is extremely important, is please, please, please do try to avoid any and all story, character, spoilers, any spoilers of any kind in the comments section. And if you want to leave it, please just leave a spoilers tag so I know not to click read more and and, and I will save myself from any spoilers. Obviously, that's the whole point. <laughs> but do feel free to leave any suggestions, any tips, any tricks, any recommendations. Just please don't take it personally if I don't do, do as you say. Um, I, I'm awful forgetful sometimes and and yeah. <laughs> also just a forewarning because I am starting this series during the holiday season I am having to pre-record a few uh, extra videos in advance than I normally do so that will be also another reason why any amazing suggestions you give me I, I won't implement until much later. <laughs> 
So um, I think the only other thing that I needed to just FYI you on is I have gone into the settings and I've hopefully tweaked things to include subtitles for you know any voiceover work and also adjusted any sound levels so in theory we can hear the voices and not be overwhelmed by music but no doubt we're going to have to adjust things as we go along because I can only do so much when I'm editing. So I think that's finally everything that I needed to say before I hit any key and we can get started. <laughs> So yes, we went to New Game, and Perils of Gorg Peril of Gorgon is installed, and I believe that's the DLC, but as usual, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> so New Game. So we have Story Normal Hard Supernova. Oh my, <laughs> I'm guessing this is like a nightmare style mode. So no, we won't be doing that one. Normal, this is the recommended mode for your first play session. Well, I do like to play my first time on most games on normal because I want to hear the story at least the first time around and not be too overwhelmed by game mechanics. So we will be doing normal. Conversation, subtitles. Yeah, I think that's all good. Oh, I'm so excited, new game. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. <laughs> A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Well, we're going right into it. <laughs> so, a criminal is, is here, I'm guessing, to, to get our body out. And, um, minor term of servitude. It sounds a lot like indentured servitude, but anyway, we'll, we'll get, no doubt get into that later. So we have attributes to pick. We have body, we have strength, dexterity, melee weapon damage, ugh. dexterity affects melee attack speed and range weapons. I do like my range weapons. Intelligence uh, affects crit critical hit bonus damage. Perception affects headshot and weak spot damage bonuses. Okay, ooh, lockpick. And, I don't know about engineer, but lockpick. Oh, and that one's hack, and that's persuade, so some dialogue. Oh, charm affects faction reputation and companion ability cooldowns. Plus persuade, lie, intimidate, hack, science, and inspiration. That's a good one. And temperament improves your natural health regeneration. Lie, sneak, medical engineering determination. Um, can I make them lower? You took a few blows to the brain pan. <laughs> the same thing if I go up? No, just if I go lower? You're a few stars short of a constellation. <laughs> I wonder if it's like um, Fallout in Vegas, where if you have really low intelligence, your uh, dialogue is kind of wacky. I don't think I want to do that on a first playthrough, but that'd be interesting to, to know. Um, so strength. What does it say? Muscular atrophy is practically a hobby in this colony. <laughs> Nothing? Really? You never did get used to the ship's gravity. <laughs> okay, we did intelligence. Let's try perception. 
Oh dear, your corrective lenses need corrective lenses. Probably. <laughs> You've been commonly described as odious and boorish. Odious and boorish, those are great words. I bet you could thaw yourself with sheer rage. Oh, bad temperament. Oh, okay. Um. Cool headed. I... And not just because you're frozen. Oh. You're going to have people hanging off you like tumors on a cysty pig. <laughs> and then let's try perception all the way up. I bet you could see right through the board's lies. Mm, I don't know. Oh, uh, let's get that one back down a bit. If I had your brains 30 years ago, we might not be in this mess. <laughs> your quick hands could get you hired by sublight. You could survive on the surface of Tartarus briefly. Okay, all kidding aside, I think I'm just going to go with good on all of them because eh, why not? I mean, I'm sure it's not some life alt life altering, earth shattering, even though I'm in outer space, um, kind of decision. So let's just go with it. Oh, more points. So let's see. Oh, points placed in core skill melee will increase specialized skill one-handed two-handed up to rank 50 after 50 you can add points directly to specialized skills um hmm so if i pick this i bet you're vicious with a toss ball stick oh i don't want to do melee at all to be honest <laughs> a gunslinger oh they're going to tell stories about you from here to hephaestus oh a gunslinger kind of playthrough that's kind of interesting maybe you're going to be hard to kill, though not from lack of trying. <laughs> if we're ever captured, I'll let you do the talking. Probably a good idea, considering you're already wanted by somebody. Things tend to vanish off tables whenever you're around. Mm, that's a good idea. Ah, a fellow tinkerer. Hmm. Engineering. Engineering skill reduces the armor parts and weapon parts needed to repair your equipment. At level 20, a novice, field repair, repair weapons and armor in the inventory. Huh. Leadership. A steady hand at the helm. Improves companion health and their abilities. What is, uh... You could order companions to do special attacks? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this is a more important choice. I don't know how I don't know how you level up any of this stuff in the game. I'm sure it'll go over it, but still. Um, let's let me go with what I'm sort of leaning towards, which is um, persuade. I hope I, we haven't lost that silver tongue to frostbite. I, I like having as many dialogue options as possible, especially on a, a first playthrough. And then maybe we'll go with. Um, I'm trying to decide between stealth for the hacking and lock picking and tech because this engineering sounds interesting. Breaking down weapons and armor, but you know what? Let me just go with stealth. It'll be fun. Things tend to vanish off tables whenever you're around. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> now my aptitude. So we have no discernible aptitude, a beverage service technician, bureaucrat rank zero. <laughs> I hope you're not going to demand a receipt. Oh, he says something in all of them. I'd say your aptitude is being incredibly lucky. Nothing for beverage, beverage service technician? How about a cashier subgrade non-supervisory? <laughs> I can be reasonably sure you know how to add and subtract. A reasonably sure? <laughs> know how to mix a zero G? I, I don't know what that is. Construction electrician class wire spooler. Construction, eh? How riveting. They sound like all the like, you know, all those pleb jobs where it's like the crappiest job in the company. Although if you had a great job, you wouldn't want to leave Earth, right? You know, so anyway, elevator operations specialists. This colony does love its elevators. <laughs> Factory worker conveyor operator. You'll feel right at home in our Saltuna canneries. A conveyor operator, which should automatically work by itself. Farmer of dirt. It'll be a miracle if you make anything grow. <laughs> Food additive tester. No signs of monsterism. Mm, lucky you. <laughs> okay, janitor sanitation class? You know what they say. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Tossball team mascot. 
No one can see you cry inside of a mascot suit. <laughs> no, they can't. <laughs> Medical technician junior grade. Junior grade? Oh, morphine dispenser. <laughs> oh, were you the ones that handled all the pills to the patients? Safety inspector. There's an archaic profession, like town crier or civil defender. Plasma damage received minus 3%. I don't know if that's good or not, though. Scientist assistant level zero class A. I wonder what experiments you were subjected to. And then the sub sous chef. So sous chef is an assistant chef, basically. So you're the assistant assistant chef. Can you really compete with a spacer's choice frozen dinner? Probably not. Um, I mean, the only one I'm really interested in is this medical I one, I think. I hope you're comfortable with needles. <laughs> so maybe, maybe this one. Medical plus one seems like it might be useful. I don't know if any of these are actually useful. They're so they're so small in, in beefing up of your skills or protections. But anyway, let's go with medical technician junior grade. Prior to leaving Earth, you earned the trust of the medical community's most esteemed junior surgeons who entrusted you with st stuffing cotton balls into pill bottles. Experience on the job made you realize that diagnosing illness doesn't take a formal education. When a surge terminal in a little imagination. We'll do the trick. We're totally going with that one. <laughs> oh, my character. I get to cus oh, I get to customize her. Uh, we're going to definitely play a girl this time. I'm playing girl daily, so I need I need some I need some female time <laughs> every once in a while on the weekends. Well, not on the weekends, on Saturdays and Tuesdays. But anyway, well, I'm going to sit here and fiddle for who knows how long. So I won't make you uh, sit through that because it could be a while. And I will bring you back in once I have finished customizing. All right, here she is. This is what she will look like for this game. I, I'm really digging the freckles options that I had. I, I, I do like how they made the scars look very I don't, realistic. I don't know if it's the right word for a computer image, but it does look very realistic, very like embedded into the skin. I figured she might have some sort of damage from her travels out here, potentially. And and I did want her to look older this time around. So, so that's that. So let's go to next to my name. And I have thought about a name and I'm going to go with the name Heather. And if, you've la if you have watched my last bi-weekly series for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, you know why I'm going with Heather. So, so that's her name. That, that's still her name. And here's the summary of everything. And I'm, I'm as okay with this as I can be. So let's just get started. Finally, hopefully. <laughs> Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines. Africa. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. Oh. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> Something wrong? <laughs> no. Oh, yes. Well, 
<laughs> Not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? <laughs> Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. <laughs> now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. So no pressure, as usual. should be close by. What in Hoss <laughs> name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. <laughs> I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. <laughs> oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. <laughs> Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Wow. I mean, sorry, sorry, uh, Hawthorne, but um, you can blame the bad scientist. I forget what the guy's name is already. <laughs> wow, look at the pretty. Look, it's like blowing in the breeze. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, I knew like a newer game <laughs> would be pretty, but Wow, the different colors and textures on the plants. Okay, gotta stop looking at shiny. All right, um, I'm assuming I need to move to where it tells me to move to. Wow, that is just, not sure how realistic it is for a planet to be that close to you in atmosphere or planets with rings and things and it's fine, whatever. <laughs> Okay, just space bar for jumping. It's pretty, pretty normal. <gasps> Look at the little creatures. Hello. Oh. It's so cute. Okay, go underneath, left control. All right. Wow, it's pretty. It's really pretty. Anything over here? Left shift to sprint, okay. So you sprint even when I'm at holding it, all right. Left control to crouch to sneak over and avoid detection. But there's a, oh my, they, uh, while sneaking use tall grass, rocks, or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate combat. Um, okay. They have no legs. Adreno I picked up? What, do I have an inventory? I do have an inventory. Um, okay, we'll, we'll come back. Let's do what the game's telling me to do first. Oh, I like how, I like how the grass kind of fades away. That's cool. It's very cool. 
Awareness meters over enemies' heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Guessing that means unaware. Suspicious? Suspicious? Alerted, perhaps? What are those? Timid can it? Huh. Okay, we'll jump down. Oh, jump down here. Can I just walk now? Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. That doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> I thought you fixed this, Doctor. Uh, jump. Ooh, ow, oh, ouch. You have low health. Use emergency med medicinal inhaler to heal. Each activation consumes one adrenal. Oh, okay. Ooh, I like that animation. That's neat. Um, is F5? Okay, F5 is save. Great. A person! A person to talk to! Hey, you! Come here! Guard Pelham. Hello. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. <laughs> okay. Uh, sit still, I'll patch you up what happened to you. Spacer's what? Well, I have medical skills, even if it is just putting cotton balls and things. So let's let's patch him up. Maybe if we're nice, he'll give us, give us things? <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Wow, the detail on the face. I mean, again, I, it's a newer game, but the hairs on his eyebrows and his stubble and the different shades of his eyes and the hair. Uh, well, Spacer's what? What are you talking about? What's a Spacer's Choice? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Did he just say he shot himself? I don't... I don't understand. Um, you're hiding in a cave, you blocked off the exit, you're as good as dead. Uh, what were you doing out there? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I mean, unless you shoot yourself again or unless I misheard you. <laughs> Someone grounded their ship illegally, I'll hunt him down for you. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. I mean, <laughs> that's not wrong. Persuade, I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I will go help. I like that option. So I'm guessing this must be Hawthorne's ship or something, right? The, the smuggler? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Sweet. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it. <laughs> oh, and let's not forget, 30% less likely to malfunction now. <laughs> Meaning they used to before. Oh, well... Guard Pelham, you are very amusing, and I appreciate you. Can you tell me where I am, though? You hit your head or something? Mm -hmm. You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Okay. Do you know anything about the Hope? Now, the Hope is the ship that I was on. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? I... Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. 
I don't know what an anti-Cleo is. I'm guessing competing company, maybe? Anyway, I'm off. Bye. Oh, <laughs> gun is gun to the ready. Uh, well, I did say that he was going to shoot canisters. Let's back up. He said they'd explode. Damn it, my ears! <laughs> oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... All right, R is reload. That's pretty normal. If I hold... Okay, I can put away my gun so I don't scare the, this person here. Is there anything else over here that I can permanently borrow from you? Because I do like to get my looting in. Mag pick. Gourmet salt tuna fillets. Dehydrated water tablets. Okay, so we're looking at food and water, it sounds like. Tart tartar sauce? What is a mag pig? Hang on, let me go to my inventory. Maybe? Okay. He said he gave me some other sort of weapon. TNL weapons safety training, weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at any time by dragging them up to the slots at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can re repair weapons on this screen as well. Oh, okay, that's, now it makes sense. So I have a sentry saber. Okay, that's my ammo. What's this? Aramid ballistics will keep your skin intact. Armor management. Drag armor or helmet items up to the equipment slots to wear them. You can also manage your armor here, break them down, inspect them, compare to other armor, tag them as junk or drop them. This is my hibernation suit. Oh, my flippity floppity hoses. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I'm guessing health? TNL makes the best gear for your friends and family. Consumables. Here you can use it use junk or driver consumables they can be used directly to gain a variety of boosts your emergency medical inhaler is shown at the top screen it uses adreno as fuel to heal you in an emergency and always keep and always keeps it loaded into slot one increase your medical skill to unlock more drug mixing slots that can hold all types of consumables not just adreno each slot is mixed into every puff of the inhaler for a combined effect oh your medical skill increases the duration of all these effects. Oh, I have a low medical skill. Well, despite the fact that I went with medical for my, I forget what it was, aptitude. But I wasn't a very good medical person, so it works, right? <laughs> all right, now we have modifications. General, what are these? Tool used to pick locks. Stealing is not the answer. Stealing is the question. The answer. The answer is yes. Unauthorized use of this item by any person without a security rating of A-5 is a Class C felony. Okay. And then quests. And then junk items. We've got my character screen. My journal. Ooh. Main quest. Botched. <laughs> you, you don't have failed quests. You've botched quests. Let's see. Stranger in a strange land. Phineas needs your help to set things right in Halcyon. But first but you'll need transportation first. So we need to find Hawthorne's ship. The smuggler took your meeting location a bit too literally. Yeah. I guess that means his ship is yours now if you can find it. And Codex. Are these just um, tutorial codexes? It looks like it. I'll click all of them off later. Oh, and then a map. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem too terribly large. Workbench, vending machine, point of interest. Okay, that seems relatively makes sense. All right, let's get out my gun. Okay. So we're making our way to the, no, 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 quest. To the ship, okay.
Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation, TTD button, slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. Okay. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TD, TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD D meter refreshes slowly over time. Okay, so I hit Q. Some objects explode when hit. Shoot them when enemies are nearby for an explosive surprise. Just don't be too close in something, something. There's someone muttering over there. Ooh, well, let's try time dilation. There's another guy over here. Space bar to... Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll try to remember that. <laughs> to dodge. Ammo, Adreno, Sentry Saber. Yes, I have, I have new items. I, I figured that out all on my own. How do I... Okay, compare... Okay, it's the same thing, basically. Okay. Corpses and containers hold items. Yep, figured that one out. Well, let's get more of these block picky things. We found a new weapon. Switch buttons. Oh, oh, I can switch buttons just with my mouse scrolling my middle mouse button, basically. That's cool. Pre sliced bread. <laughs> Fish sticks. Is there custard nearby? Just saying. 25% base health. Okay. 200% natural health. Okay, so they're all a little bit different. Oh, and this one gives you personality attributes. Oh. That one gives you body attributes. Hmm. Okay. What's over here? Mock apples. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lock picking skills help you in Help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryption. So mag picks for locks and bypass shunts for computers. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you will need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. So I only need two. And my skill must be 22 and you needed five to pick it. Okay, sure. I like block picking. I like hacking. I kind of like sneaking. I'm not very good at it, so. Oh. Okay, let's try this time dilation thing again. Too far away. Other friend over there dead? I think so. You know, you are all carrying things. You have clothes on, you have weapons, so you should all have loot at some point. <laughs> Just saying. No new weapons. Okay. I really like the. I like that. So you kind of see where you're going without having to stand up all the time. Um, well, I guess we're going. Oh, look at the ship. Oh, it's Hawthorne's ship. That's a cool ship. So that's, that's my ship now, right? I'm supposed to take hey, it? get over here before you get yourself killed. Um, okay, Lieutenant Mercer and Private Kimball. Hi. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. <laughs> Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. <laughs> and worse, landing violators. Marauders who were, I'm guessing, bad guys who are just trying to kill you. 
but landing in improperly is worse. <laughs> it's just a landing violation, let it go. So I heard I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. I've already dealt with a few of these marauders not impressed. Um, let's bring up her teammate. Really? How is he? He's fine. He'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Still a moron. <laughs> no, we'll go with the first one. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. <laughs> I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. I just gotta say, her Spacer's Choice, like, you know, brand pushing was way better than his. It was very, like, sneakily put in there. <laughs> so do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? I bet you could get those Mirage to tell you where the other chip is. Probably not. They'll probably shoot her first. I uh, guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction review. Or I can do it by myself. Hmm. Well, let's try to, let's try to persuade her to go do her job. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation... Yeah. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. <laughs> you tell him, sister. Here we go. Oh, can I go help? Excuse me, I wanna go shoot bad guys. Oh, I wanna shoot one. Let me shoot one. Let me. It's like 20 bullets later. Waste of company ammo. I'm not sure I like your hat, sir, or your helmet. Helm. Pep pills. I should I should read these better when I lose. It's fine. I can read them later, right? There's a body here. Nothing in there. Is that the one that I shot? <laughs> the one that I shot has no loot. Of course not. I thought there was another one over here. Let's talk to uh, Private Kimball. Marauders, deserters, illegal landing. What is this colony coming to? I, I don't know. Let's talk to Lieutenant Mercer again. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. I mean, it could be worse, right? You could be dead. Well, let's go on to our ship, right? You can fast travel to locations you have unlocked by opening your map and selecting your destination. Pretty fancy. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Who's speaking? Welcome aboard Apex Transport, the Triangulum Colony 2325, that, that unreliable. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. It's like one of those old fashioned cameras. As your surveillance device. Okay, that's fine, whatever. <laughs> Drino. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Are you like a robot? Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted <laughs> solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you going to do, self-destruct? <laughs> yeah, I'm going with it. Genesis procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. I love how our picture changes to, like, crazy eyes. <laughs> 
Yeah, you realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. <laughs> I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> I her voice sounds so familiar. It must be in some other video game I played it, but I can't I can't place it just yet. But uh, yeah, uh, is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Oh, well, we have a problem because, yeah, Hawthorne's dead. Sorry. Oh, he's a red smear under my escape <laughs> Oh, no, we'll go with the second one. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Oh, uh, yeah, I get it. Uh, you need me to Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Yeah, that's pretty obvious, right? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. <laughs> Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Of course it did. Of course it did. But Engineering 5, I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. Um. <laughs> this cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, I think so. So Captain Hawthorne of the unreliable. I like it. Sure, why not? Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. <laughs> Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Whoa. Game really wants me to know my levels. Okay. You've been promoted. Level up. Congratulations, you've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to any to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Oh, I have to continue. And then hit tab. Anti-Cleo management training, skill improvements. Each time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all the specialized skill in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are, armor consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills this helps or hurts skill checks and that and the skills passive bonuses but won't give or take away the skill unlocks work diligently improve yourself and you too can achieve middle management just what we always wanted right so i'm probably not going to go melee i i've just never been a big melee fan um in first person shooters really especially when they're a shooter because i like guns so i'm probably going to focus on ranged i don't know if i'm going to go hand long or heavy weapons but we'll, we'll see how it goes so let's throw a point in there oh, i have 10 points available wow adjusted skill value one medical technician junior grade that's from that perk i got my hibernation suit is giving me five extra points in all these. Okay, that's what it meant. Well, let's throw a couple in dialogue, um, a couple in hack and lockpick. Uh, we'll throw um, leadership. Companion health and their abilities. I don't have a companion though. Um, is it worth it to get it if I don't have a companion? 
TDD, TTD location hit effects. Huh. Hmm. Uh, let's throw some of my companion in so that I have them when they're ready. Because at 20, I order my companions to do special attacks. Inhaler heals you and your companions, but they get 30% of the healing effect. Uh... Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. I can always get more later, right? Yes. Combat dialogue abilities. You've unlocked a dialogue combat skill when attacking the correct type of target. They are automatically debilitated. What does that mean? Humans have a 20% chance to cower in fear for three seconds after the first time you hit them. 15% chance automechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you for 10 seconds. And... 20% chance creatures will become terrified and flee for 10 seconds after you kill one. Interesting. I really just wanted it for dialogue options when talking to people. But anyway, perks. anti Cleo Specialized Management Seminars. Selecting perks. Welcome to perk selection. On the screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Ooh. Oh, I don't know what that means, but whatever. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Auntie, Auntie wants you to be your best to help her be the very best. Um, okay. Thank you, Mouse. Let's see. More health, vendor prices, companion kills. Uh, again, I don't have a companion yet. Tactical time dilation meter max. Damage when alone in a party. Unlock the ability to fast travel when, enc when encumbered. That's good. Time dilation, walk speed, sprint speed. Ooh, carrying capacity. We may have to go with that one. Additional ammo stock on vendors. Additional consumable and general stock on vendors. Okay, durability loss, companions, crit chance, armor rating, damage per flaw, increases the magazine size of science weapons. I don't have a science weapon, I don't think. We're going to go with carrying capacity because that's, I feel like, going to be the most useful thing right away. Right? I got to click off those. All right, Ada, do you have anything else to say to me? What can I do for you, Captain? I guess not. Goodbye. Bye. All right, well, let's uh, look around our ship, because I am Captain Alex Hawthorne now. What's in here? Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequences. Ooh, an assault rifle. Ooh. Ooh. Assault rifle. Let's put that down here. Yeah, I'll take it. I have 30 ammo for it, but okay. Um, hmm. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Are they like gonna be my bedroom? If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Okay. So weird. Sawed off shotgun and weapon parts. Okay. Welcome to the Crux 2000 workbench. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapon and armor, weapons and armor, keep, keeping you combat ready and in tip top shape at all time. On each screen, first select the weapon or, or armor item that you want to work on, then choose what you want to do to it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, or tinker to upgrade it. I don't think I have any mods. Tinker, repair. Insufficient weapon parts break down. Um, let's try it. I get weapon parts, and that's what I need to repair, right? Yes. Hmm. 
Did I just repair? Did I just? Okay, I didn't. I was wondering, can you scrap the weapons that you're using? Okay. Well, what else we got on the ship, Ada? Anything else I can loot? How about the ladder? Oh, uh, what's in here? The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Okay, I'm guessing it goes here. Yes, requires a power regulator. Of course it does. Oh, Alex, why did you break our ship? What's this? Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Hmm. Okay, well, well, what is it? Vocational competence respecification machine. Choose to respec refunds all of your spent skill. Oh, and perk points. Then you can spend them in a different way. The price to respec will increase each time you continue to use them, each time you use the machine. No, I don't have 500 of anything. <laughs> and I just started, so we're fine. But there's a ladder here. Let's try this one. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay. Anything else around here I can kind of loot? Ooh, fridges. Gourmet salt tuna fillets. Hmm. It's like the <laughs> gathering area. Hangout area? Well, it's a kitchen dummy. <laughs> what are these? These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Okay. That doesn't sound crazy at all. What's down here? The captain's quarters. I can't get in, but I want to go into my bedroom. It's fine, whatever. And we're back at the beginning. Okay, so I had quest updates. So the unreliable's power regulator has been damaged beyond repair and must be replaced. It is suggested you seek help in the nearby settlement of Edgewater. Talk to whoever runs the town. All right, I can do that. On the screen, you can see information on your active and completed quests as well as change your currently active quests. But I don't have any other quests game. Hello, you two. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Hmm. You got it all wrong, lady. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Really, after I patched up your friend? Uh, let's go with that one. Yeah, fair point. I'll let it go this time. If you're looking to help us out with our Marauder problem, talk to Constable Reyes over in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. It's so pretty. The models are so stinking pretty. <laughs> okay, well, I need to go to Edgewater multiple things, but there's a settlement, something here, there's something there, and there, and firm. What's this one over here? Oh, I see something there. Oh, no, I see something there. Primal Behemoth. Okay, sneaking inflicts extra damage to the enemy. Okay, that's nice. I don't know if I want to take on a primal behemoth. That sounds really dangerous. And I'm level two. <laughs> but what's over here? Maybe there's loot this way. Maybe. Or there's marauders, perhaps? Marauder lookout. My 
much better. I like that gun much better. Much, much, much better. A bracelet. Uh, isn't there another dead guy over here? Heavy ammo, cobbled exosuit. I have 17 ammo. <laughs> Let's go back to our handgun for now. So it looks like my assault weapon takes heavy ammo. But you guys are all dead, so that worked. Wow. I mean, it's even got the, like, the Northern Lights thing going on here. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Wow. They went all out. This is awesome. So was this goes back to the ship. That's a fast travel point. Okay. Stranger in a strange land. Well, up here we go. Look at the water. There's more animals down there. Let's avoid. Looks like there's a volcano. Oh, people. And a graveyard. Huh. Well, let's save. What is that? Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Well, it's complicated. But let's talk, Silas. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just passing through my pod crash in the back hills there. How do you how do you know I'm not a marauder? Well, hmm. Let's just go with I'm passing through. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> um, I never got your name. No, I'm not Heather anymore, remember? I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. What's a junior in humor? I don't, junior in humor, fancy title for grave digger. Place looks like it's falling to pieces. Does it? It, I mean, I don't think so. I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. Oh, let's, uh, let's ask about the power regulator. That's important. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. <laughs> if you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Well, I do what I want. Uh, it depends on the work. You offer me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? pay for their graveyards? They rent them? Do, how? Who pays for them after you die? You make people pay for your own graves? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town 10 feet under, free of charge. <laughs> okay. Uh, why can't you collect these fees? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know? Is there like a mass death going on right now or something. But yes, all right, I'll collect your fees for you. Of course. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is Abernathy a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Okay. And where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy, I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. 
He's over by the landing pad. Okay. Well, there's something else I want to ask you. Yeah? Hmm. Do you lose a lot of people to the Marauders? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. They're... What? They're grave robbing? Are they... What are they after? Loot? Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. But... If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. But what are they doing with the bodies? That doesn't make any sense. The town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. That's so rude. <laughs> How long have you been a junior in humor? Grave digger, whatever. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Yeah. I'm not gonna say the other thing, not yet anyway, so that's all for now. Quest tracker displays objectives for the active quest. You can change your active quest in the quest log. I did get a new, I have a new task. A small grave manor. S manor. Matter. <laughs> Silas, the local grave digger, asked you to collect money from a few workers late on their payments. So collect Conrad. He's one of the four people. He runs a barber shop. Ludwig is stationed as a guard at the landing pad southeast of Edgewater. Phyllis works as a supervisor in the Edgewater Cannery in Abernathy. He's been feeling un under the weather and is probably at his residence. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I do want to go into Edgewater, but I feel like this is a pretty good stopping point for today. I did go a smidgen longer than normal just because we spent so long just setting up my character and I babbled for who knows how long at the beginning of this video. But um, I, I'd rather stop here just in case there's like 20 minutes of cutscenes and then the next thing you know, I have a two hour video. <laughs> so on Tuesday, we'll pick back up here. We'll go into Edgewater, no doubt. Talk to people, quest, loot, you know, all, all those good things that I like to do in video games and, and go from there. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Tuesday with another new The Outer Worlds video.